you're a big star in Florida. We're talking late 1984. And as far as I understand it, around late 84, Dusty Rhodes leaves as Booker. Dutch Mantel replaces him as Booker. Uh, but Dusty goes to Jim Crockett Promotions and takes most of the talent with him. Uh, did Dusty ever yeah. make a play uh, to take you as well? Yeah, I, I went to the Carolinas with Dusty at that point. And I was there for probably four months. But uh, the payoffs were just pitiful. I mean, after I had three three weeks of a hundred dollar checks, and that was just too much, you know. I, you know, I just knew there was more money to be made. Yeah. So, I mean, were you kept at the bottom of the card, or did he just underpay you essentially? No, it was just you know, just it was when Dusty was first taking over, so they were switching out a, an old crew, and we were getting new faces. You know, to, for the people to recognize the houses just weren't there for a while. But uh, probably, you know, the thing that that uh, probably got under my skin, the Road Warriors had a $750,000 contract with uh, Crockett. And, you know, I was working with, I was their tag partner and working against them with them. And, and I had no guarantee. I'm making a hundred bucks. So just, I had, I, I called, uh, uh, Oh my goodness, I can't think of his name right now. But anyway, uh talked to Vince and Vince said, Come on up. So three days later I was up and working for New York. George Scott? Yeah, George Scott. There you go. Uh yeah, he was booking in late eighty four, wasn't he? I always I always yeah. forget who was booking where. So yo, so you actually made the call then and said, I'm getting paid nothing, make me a better offer. Simple as that. Well, it's just that uh I think I did mention how much I made. And he said, you know, you'll make a lot more than that. And I did the first week I made 2,500 bucks, mm. you know, which helped pay some bills <laughs> that I yeah. had from the other company. You're telling me. Um, do you, uh, did you ever have a one-on-one one -on -one meeting with Vince McMahon when you first went up there? Or were you just given a directed by George Scott, turn up at this town and that's that? No, nah, never really any one-on-ones with Vince. Uh, you know, just maybe this may be talking over a match or, or asking, you know, something for one of the, uh, some of the talent, you know, when I was an agent, if finish was okay, just something like that. 